What is up my people? This is your boy George here with Vegas Must Try and today we're checking out one of the most beautiful properties on the whole Las Vegas Strip and that is the Venetian Hotel and Casino. This is my first time staying here so I'm really excited. There are a ton of things to do. Let's get started. All right, guys, we made it here to our room. We are in a luxury two queen suite here at the Venetian and all the rooms here at the Venetian are sweet. So as you can see, it's a very, very spacious room. And the price for today was $175 plus resort fees and taxes. It ended up being about $256. Mind you, today is a Sunday, so it's going to be a little bit cheaper than if you book on a Friday and Saturday. This property was built back in 1999, making it 25 years old. It has about 4,000 rooms, but if you combine the Venetian and the Palazzo, there's over 7,000 rooms in this whole complex. It has an Italian theme, but more specifically, a Venice theme. It has 120,000 square foot casino floor, which is probably one of the biggest ones in the whole city if you are a foodie you're going to be in love with this destination because not only do we have restaurants at the venetian but it's also the palazzo and since it's one big giant property you have dozens of options to choose from places like cut by wolfgang puck you have buddy velostro's restaurants you have lavo you have black tap smith's and walensky's you have one of my favorite restaurants in vegas and that is mott 32 there's so many options to choose from if you want a sushi you can go to wakuda sushi samba i mean honestly the options are endless here when it comes to entertainment here you have a couple of options and they're all really good they have a theater called voltaire which christina aguilera and jason derulo perform there you also have top tier comics that visit here frequently and not to mention they're basically in the same complex as the sphere so you have literally a tunnel that takes you to the sphere if you're at the venetian website you can basically book the sphere tickets right from there among other entertainment options like karaoke atomic saloon things like that you have the magician shin lim who just recently relocated from the mirage and he's going to perform here at the venetian tickets for that start i believe in october so you can't book them quite yet there are a ton of cocktail bars here like rosina you have electra and juliet if you wanted to party a little bit harder you can go to the Tao nightclub and beach club so as you can see there's an endless amount of things to do here now let's do a quick room tour So as soon as you walk in, you're gonna have two double doors here that lead you to the restroom. Well, look at that, this is a very beautiful bathroom. You have a walk-in shower, the bathtub here, love the gold finishes. I really like the way it looks, it's like classy. Not to mention that small TV. To the right, you are gonna have a little vanity set with a ring light and a bathroom here. So you can handle your business with a phone so you can call your mom, tell you miss her. But moving on to the rest of the bedroom, you are gonna have your two queen beds. If you get a king size bed, you're gonna have one here in the middle, but this is a room with two queen beds. A TV here, look at that, nice. Honestly, I'm a big fan of those headboards here. This looks pretty classy. I love these little benches at the end of the beds that help you put your shoes on. And now this is, I guess, the living room. You are gonna have a very beautiful lady sitting there. To the right, you are gonna have the TV set with the mini bar. Let's check in here. All right, let's see if it's a mini bar type of, yeah. So we have that situation. Just as an FYI, you're able to put your belongings up here on the top floor, but I mean, not much can fit up there. You have your desk, a dining table to eat your leftovers, and check this out. Look at this view. Yes, sir, a beautiful view of the sphere. There is an option to pay extra to have strip view, to have sphere view, but we didn't pay for that and we still got it. I requested to get early check-in and they didn't charge us for that. The room was ready by 10 a.m., so keep that in mind. All right, so as beautiful as the suite is, we have to go downstairs, go eat, go gamble, and see what the Venetian has to offer. Let's go. <laughs> All right guys, so we made it here to the pool deck and the Venetian and Palazzo pool decks are essentially combined just like the rest of the properties. If you combine the two, this is the biggest pool deck in Las Vegas. It's absolutely massive. There's so many cabanas, there's like hot tubs here. There's so many pools that you can pick from. Uh, over at the Venetian, since the Tao Beach Club is right next door, uh, it's a little loud so we came out here to record, but this place is 
beautiful. It's elegant, upscale. There's a lot of bars to choose from. So if you want to walk from pool to pool, get ready to walk quite a bit. This place, I'm telling you, so large. It's kind of crazy how big it is. To get from here to the Venetian, look, it's way up there. The building looks so far away and the pool is right in the front. One thing to note though is that it feels like there's a lot of kids here on the Palazzo side. Does anyone know what the heck this is? I know it's been here for years and it looks like construction is never ending. Oh right, so now we made it here to the Venetian pool. And I don't know if you can hear, but the Tao Beach Club is right behind us right here. You hear like pyro and like other stuff happening back there. Sun's out, toes out, and we got a great view here. Overlooking the whole property. This is quite nice. Something I noticed here is that on the right hand side, they have like little houses. I think they're called bungalows or maybe they have a different name, but they're pretty cool. They're like cabanas and they have their own little like hot tub there. Pretty cool, they're secluded. Something I forgot to mention is that apparently on the 10th floor, there's another pool deck yet. I think there's uh, some lawn chairs there, a big pool, and then perhaps some uh, hot tubs there. So pretty dope. We just got back from the pool and we're gonna head downstairs to go eat something. And while the lady is putting on her makeup, I'm gonna tell you that we're gonna smash the casino floor today. We're gonna win. We're not gonna quit until we win. All right, maybe not, but we're gonna play at the casino. We're gonna smash. All right, so we just made it here to Mateo's Italian restaurant. My first time here, I've been to Black Tap before, Mot 32, which is one of my favorites. Uh, and I just wanted to try a new place. So Mateo's it is. We'll look at this, they have a station here where they're making the pasta, prepping them up. Doesn't get better than this, guys. The bread has just arrived. Nothing like the first meal of the day to be some sourdough bread. Yeah, some fresh Parmesan. Just drop off the food and I got this really unique pasta here. It's called a calamarata. It has squid ink scented pasta, scallops, calamari, shrimp, mussels, and calabrian anduja sauce. So this is basically like a seafood pasta. And as you can see, some of the pasta pieces are black because of the squid ink. We also have a margarita pizza here. It's a little fluffy and obviously it has the most basic ingredients. It has the sauce, has some uh, cheese and some a little bit of the basil on top. Looks nice and fluffy, let's give it a shot. So the pasta here, a nice black color. Here we go. Oh my God, wow. It's a little spicy, but it's so, so flavorful. I've never had anything like this. The Induja is basically like a, an Italian uh, chorizo so it has a little bit of spice this pasta is sensational there's so many flavors here it kind of feels like a little cajun pasta because there's so much seafood here man it has a really really nice taste and nice balance now let's try the margarita pizza it has not enough flop i'm used to seeing margarita pizzas like flop down i have very high standards when it comes to neapolitan style pizzas like margarita and I don't know if this is Neapolitan because it's a little too fluffy. It's like bready, but the ingredients are great. This is a really, really good slice of pizza. I just have really high standards. When I say that the Palazzo and Venetian are connected, like this is what I mean. This giant hallway is what connects it to, and that is the casino floor that belongs to the Palazzo. But as you can see, they basically are connected by a shopping mall. And this second floor includes so many restaurants they have Sushi Samba here, Camo, Flight Club, and they also include some high-end shopping here like Burberry, Kate Spade, Louis Vuitton, things like that. Right behind me is one of the stations for the gondola rides. And I say one of the stations because there's two. So this one right here stays indoors and the one outside just does the outside. I used to think that they were somehow connected. So one thing to note is that it is $39 to do it. It takes about 10 to 12 minutes. So I personally think it's kind of a waste of money, especially because a lot of my friends that have done it say it's a bit awkward because a lot of people are watching you and people are filming you as you're riding by. The people singing are very uh, talented. They have to audition for this, but I honestly wouldn't do it. I haven't done it, uh, but who knows, maybe one day. So it's about 8.20 right now and the sky here looks like it's sometime in the afternoon. 
But if we go over to this side right over here, and over here it looks like it's about 8 p.m. This little square here has a bunch of restaurants, desserts, and other shopping that you can do. So I've never actually been to Venice. So let me know in the comments if it looks anything like this because that might just be the honeymoon spot. Look at this candy store. This is like Cavity Central. I don't know if the reward system here is that good, but this casino floor is always, always active like this. Right now we're gonna go to the room and leave some things and then we're gonna go gamble. All right, just got back to the room and it's nighttime, so that means that the sphere must look pretty freaking cool. Look at that. Get tickets at sphere.com. All right, so we made it to one of the machines here in the casino floor. We are at the Firelink Double Explosion. But we are gonna record this so it can be on Fanny's YouTube channel. So go subscribe, uh, help us get the subscribers show up. We wanna get to 500 so we can start monetizing that channel. But in the meantime, uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Uh, in goes 100, out goes 1,000 maybe, we'll see. All right, so we got obliterated over at the slot. So we switched over to bubble craps and uh, the girl's pretty lucky out here. We, uh, we're up. Let's see, the minimum you can get is 20. Hopefully we can get more than that. 50, 50, 50. Hey, pretty good. Let's claim the $50. Put my pin. All right, good stuff right here, sir. Come on, dragon. Give me something good. More? Let's go, come on. It's gotta be something good here. Oh, and the bottom one. Let's go. Let's cash that out. So we ended up getting like 40 buck win. You know what time it is. Pretty long day, very eventful. Uh, I wish the casino they didn't kick our butts, but you know, well, we're gonna treat ourselves with a nice bubble bath. All right, good morning everybody. Made it out to the gym and check this out. There is a rock climbing wall. What? So this is Black Tap. They are located right next to the sports book and they are known for having some crazy, crazy milkshakes, beers, and burgers. So if you want to know a little more about this, I actually made a video that's a couple years old now, but I will be here in about two weeks because I got invited to try out their new menu. All right, my people, we made it till the end of the video and just some wrap up thoughts. I thought that the room was really nice for that price. Anywhere else, I feel like suites would be a little bit more expensive. So the fact that they're all suites here at the Venetian, that's a big plus. The amenities here are pretty absurd as well. The pool is great and the gym, as you can see, they even have a rock climbing. Like, I mean, that gym is probably better than a lot of people's gyms back home. Standing destinations are great. The casino is blooming, even though it kicked our butts and it's overall just a beautiful, beautiful property. I have two negative things to say about the venetian number one is that they charge for parking even if you are a hotel guest so that is 18 dollars per night that you stay so you basically have to tack on to the hotel fees the number two and i think this one sucks because it's really annoying is that the fact that when i showered this morning after the gym there was no hot water last night it was hot so i think it's something about a lot of people showering at this time of day i don't know but it's still unacceptable uh, we could call and complain and all that stuff, but dude, we're locals. We're going to leave. So for that, I leave you guys a review. Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and drop a comment below for the algorithm. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next time. Peace.